little corner here on YouTube. I am so let me start off by saying I'm just very very happy with the response I was getting from my chit chat video with um, that where I took to talk about the lessons I learned from the fire festival documentaries. I was really concerned about that video because I wasn't sure if anyone would if people would understand what exactly I was trying to get up get across. But they did, and for that I'm happy. Okay, so. To the video of today, I wanted to come on here in the spirit of Black History Month here in the United States. We the month of February is where we celebrate where we celebrate all things Black History. So in that spirit, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial featuring brands that cater to my end of the spectrum, the melanin end of the spectrum and also to those brands that are spearheaded by melanin girls really doing their things and killing it i'm talking about the fenty i'm talking about boxer crayon i'm talking about pat mcgrath and i'm on of course my girl cashmere from beauty bakery so um the other brands i'll be using the black radiant and the black of they're not really but they are but they cater to us and they are of course drugstore brands so if you want to see how i created this look featuring those products that i mentioned don't forget to con just continue to watch and share your comments and also let me know what you guys are doing this month to celebrate black history month so all in all catch you guys on Thursday. guys you can see i've already started with today's festivities i already done my brows and i am going to start with my face right now i will first of all i will be priming and for my primer i will be using the black opal invisible oil blocking gel primer so my foundation i'll be using the black opal true color perfect pop perfecting liquid foundation in the shade charo while that set we're gonna start with the eyes okay and i'm gonna start by getting my eyes ready by priming my eyes with some concealer so guys for our eyes like i said we're going to be using some products that are predominantly spearheaded and run by some melanin queens so we will start by um one of the people we're going to be highlighting today is our girl super scent wazuma super she's a former waitress and she started a brand called the crayon case so I got two about three items from her. I got the eyeshadow blending brushes and I also got the box of crayon eyeshadow palette. Now she if you not if you've been living under the rock under a rocky and you don't know anything about her, let me just start by saying that she is a melanin queen based in New Orleans, right here in the United States. She made one million last Cyber Monday. She made a killing and everyone wanted to wrap their hands on these babies so um this was recommended to me by my boy prince of pity on instagram i'm going to put down his link the link to his website down below he recommended these these products and i loved i've been playing with them since i got them they are very very vibrant they're very colorful they're very pigmented and they're easy they're you can, you can blend them very very easy easily so i got an to this this came i also got like some brushes and the cool thing about these brushes is that they are made <laughs> they actually look like pencils they actually look like pencils oh my god look at this look at this okay so let's get started with with the festivities of today i will be starting with one of our pencil blending brushes this one okay quite fluffy so let's get started for the look we're going to be creating today this is what the palette looks like and like i said i've been playing with them playing with this palette all week this is what this is what it looks like okay and you can see on the on each shade the names are written on there there's nothing to flamboyant about the names they're just simple yellow brown black all that goodness okay yellow all that goodness okay so i will be starting with this brown shade here this one here and i'll be using that to deepen my crease to deepen the crease i would and also um 
yeah to deepen the crease i will take another blending brush and use this shade here the deep plum shade here and put that all over my lid as well as to deepen the crease now for today's look we are going to cut the crease okay i will be using my sorry guys my makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade c2 we will be what I want to do is that I want to go for a dark to light look so to start with I will be using this shade here this is the shade violet here and I will be starting with that look starting with that shade taking some there and to ensure that the colors pop I will, I will also wet the brush So no one wants to help. So we will be taking the shade gold and a bit of the orange. This is that gold? Yes. Take I like gold. Gold here and the orange. What is that? Orange here? Yeah. And mix mixing both of them to get a nice mix. And of course we will be wetting the brush to ensure that the colours pop. To deepen our crease, we're going to take the pencil brush and use this purple, the purple that we used earlier. Okay, for our concealer, we're going to be using My Girl Riri from the Fenty. We're going to be using the Fenty Beauty line by My Girl Riri in the shade 445. This was just launched January 12th. You guys can see my previous videos where I featured my review of this concealer and like I said in that video, less is more, guys. To set our concealer, we're going to be using the Fenty Pro, Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Banana. While that is baking for a few minutes, we will contour and we'll be using the Black Radiant Stick Foundation Stick in the shade Chocolate Dipped. This was just launched a few days ago. It's a drugstore brand. It's the, this is what it looks like if you can't see it. And it also comes with a brush. But I tried using the brush, it didn't work. The trick to this stick foundation is that less is more. You don't need that much. You don't need to get carried away with it. So that's literally all you need. Okay, to set our, our entire face, we're gonna be using another product from the crayon case. So this is the chalk dust setting powder in the shade Y another product recommended by my boy Prince of Pretty this is what it looks like for my cheeks I'm going to be using the cotton candy champagne blush lighter palette from Beauty Bakery if you are very commented with this brand this is owned by a girl called Cashmere she's a single mom She's a cancer survivor and I was very very chuffed about trying this brand and I decided to try the blush and the highlighter blush lighter um, palette. I also got a lipstick from there. I'm gonna get some other things but so far I am so happy for her. You need a very very soft hand when using this blush. For my highlight I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place loose highlighter in the shade Nubia Juvia's Place is a it's a brand owned by a Nigerian a Nigerian girl called Chi Chi she started this brand a while ago 
Her brand is inspired by the rich vibrancy of the African culture. Her palette, I think the palette, the eyeshadow palettes are very vibrant and very pigmented palettes. So I decided to try the highlights. I got this a while ago. I think I got this in Christmas. My sister wanted the the palette, eyeshadow palette, and I tried to get this for myself. So we will be using this today as our highlighter and we'll be using this with a very, 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 very gentle hand because we don't need that much. So for our lips, we're going to be using Pat McGrath. She's a world-renowned makeup artist. She is the makeup artist for all the high-end fashion shows from Paris and Milan. So this, I'm going to be trying our lip glosses. This is in the shade Divine Rose and you can get this from Zephora. So guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I hope I've been able to give a very good representation of all these brands that are catered to the melanin side of the spectrum and are spearheaded by melanin goddesses really doing their thing here and one thing i always try i always try to do is to support other brands that support brand and people like me so what do you guys think and all in all i would say go out there support this brand because they are catered for our skin tone and i'll put the link down below where you can get some of these items so all in all thank you so much for watching like comment share and most of all subscribe and i'll catch you guys on the flip side okay bye guys and samina wants to say bye too okay Bye. Bye. Samina so had some of the box of crayon in on her face, which we had to clean up before I daddy looks at it because I didn't be so grumpy. Grumpy. Okay, guys. Bye.